With respect to the breath, with the air, the unstated assumption is that it's not breath that's going to take you to all the way. Your your breath is very significant, but it's it's not like the breath has to be perfected in order to enter into this realm of beingness. Um, so that's as far as air goes. It's kind of a high level overview, but hopefully you get the little bit of sense of how, how it came about. Now, if we were to talk about breath, especially since there are traditions which are very yogic traditions which emphasize breath to such an extent that they say you have to go breathless. The breath has to completely stop to really see what's going on. So I feel like um, that school of thought, it comes from a certain trajectory of uh, evolution of consciousness. And if you stay in that trajectory, that statement is true. If you just look at it from that path point of view. So you have to uh, say it, it has its it has its relevance, significance, and it's true in a way. But if you step out of all paths and you look at, okay, what is ultimately infinity? What is ultimate beingness? What is ultimate truth outside of any path? Then it is a little different. Then what happens is breath is not, cannot hold you trapped. In fact, if you look at the same yogic traditions, if you go advanced enough, they will tell you that in that tradition too. Because guess what? Imagine somebody progressing in a certain yogic tradition and they start getting breathless. It's like, wow, okay, finally after 100 years of meditation, I got to the breathless state. And oh, indeed, it's amazing. Fantastic. You got a glimpse. Now I got to get back and do my dishes and uh, polish my shoes for tomorrow's work and all. Guess what? Out of the breathless state, right? So the breathless state is always a transient thing. It, it, it is like for five minutes I was breathless yesterday. I was in Samadhi. Fantastic. Where are you now? Out of Samadhi. It's always uh, breathless leads to not breathless. You can't stay indefinitely breathless. So then in that particular path, it says you eventually get to a point where no matter what the breath is doing, you are in that state. Eventually it gets to beingness if you follow it far along. Okay, so it will be called certain kinds of samadhi where the breath is no longer paused and you can go about your ordinary activities, you are breathing normally and still you are in that state. That is what I call beingness. It's just that the path to beingness in certain traditions, it says you have to go through the breathless. And what I am saying is, that's just one way to get there, not the only way. The body can be still functioning and you can still perceive infinity. In fact, that's what, even in those paths, they get to that same place. And they talk about that as a higher state. Okay. So it is acknowledged even there. So it's, uh, we're acknowledging it from day one. When you choose light, Life becomes increasingly joyful, purposeful, and inspired. I invite you to join me to explore the realms of light, the infinite possibilities that light offers.